Continuing on with Nick Double D 98's questions. Four, on Pharaoh's hardening heart, you don't think that was a bit of poetry? Um, poetic or whatever. Um, maybe I said that. Um, I don't, I don't know. C point two. How do you, how do we know it's what's poetic and what's a literal historical account? Well, who, who's taking that literal? It says when God hardened Pharaoh's heart, even if you believe that it was Yahweh intentionally turning you know, a, you know, merciful Pharaoh into a, you know, into a, you know, merciless man, the hardening of his heart would still be metaphorical, wouldn't it? Or, or did, does he have, you know, um, some form of, uh, angina? I mean, is his heart hard? Is his heart, is his heart hard? He'd be dead. If God actually hardened his heart, he would have, if you have a hardened heart, you're dead. It can't beat. It can't pump. So there's no one who doesn't take that metaphorical, at least a little bit, and as, as it being poetic. Even if you believe it means that, you know, the God of Israel, Yahweh, um, you know, forcefully changed Pharaoh's mind, um, I mean, how, I mean, <laughs> show me the person that actually takes that literally, that believe that Pharaoh's heart was hardened. He dropped straight dead. I mean, you don't see that right away. Um, I don't know. C.2. Is this point two? Um... I thought I already addressed that. Um, again, I don't see what two has to do with four. It's more like the Holy Spirit. Again, I don't know. What is he referring to in this? Is the Holy Spirit not also God? Yes, the Holy Spirit's God. The Trinity is three parts of one God. Is it not? Absolutely not. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number five. The Trinity is... Th Three parts of one God, is it not? Absolutely not. No, that's compartmentalism. There's no, <laughs> there is no, there is no church that believes that. Um, no. Um, they're not parts of God. The Logos is God, also known as the Son. The Spirit is God, and the Father is God. They're all 100% God, and there is one God. They're not part. That's why that old fable that oh yeah, Patrick taught with a, with a, with a, you know, a clover. You know that you know this is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. You know, pointing to different parts of the clover. That's actually a heresy. It's funny. You can go to. Um, is it Lutheran satire? Yeah, Lutheran satire, and they make fun of that, you know. Um, yeah, because he actually didn't teach that, because that would be compartmentalism, and that was, I don't know, in the second or third century, even before Nicaea, that was, that that was uh, condemned. Um, I mean, Apollinarianism makes more sense than that. So does Euclidianism. I'm not talking about the Euclid from ancient Rome, the mathematician. I'm talking about, um, was it Euclid of Pontus or Euclid of Cyrene? Or Euc it might have been Euclid of Palmyra, actually, but um, <clears throat> that had uh, him and Euduc... What is it? Eustentius or whatever believed in... Uh, the strange parts of like Christ, like kind of like Apollinarius, he had the mind of God, but the body of man, that type of weird stuff. Not even they would believe in compartmentalism when it came to the Trinity. Six, I can't answer those questions for you right now because you're so ignorant. 
Did I say that? Um, that's kind of funny. Arrogant, rude, and not answering with ease. If you can answer with ease, you would not be able to put it in terms even and you would be you would be able to you would not be able to put it in terms even an arrogant person could understand i again it you would not be it shouldn't it be you would be able to put it in terms even an arrogant person could understand how can an average person expect to believe in christianity if it is so hard to it's not so hard to explain or understand um then again i'm not uh I'm not an evangelist. I'm not trying to get people to believe in Christianity. Um, again, I just, I'm just i against proselytizing. But it's weird because I see these things, you know, nicely formulated. Uh, and then uh, beautiful response, eloquent but brief. Eloquent but brief. Um, if you were to see the video where I go through one through three... There's a lot of sentences that I just don't... I, I mean, I'd love to talk one-on-one -on -one with this person, but uh, that certainly kind of screws me up right there because it's, it's, it seems to almost be a double negative. And then... There was another part that kind of, kind of got hooked up on on one the one through three one. Um, oh yeah. Parts um, between which parts written to be stories, and which parts to be historical. If the Bible is infallible, what uh, then why should be trust that they are accurate? If the if the Bible is infallible, then why should... I, I think he meant to say, if the Bible is infallible, why should he or we trust that they are... Again, I, I'm not understanding that they... So, yeah, I don't know if it's very... If it's so eloquent. That's why I like speaking to people. Um, it's a lot easier. But yeah, I don't know. I guess then I'll go through 7 through 10 will be the next one. But yeah, no, that's a... That is that is not the Trinity right there. That is... This is no Protestant, no Roman Catholic, no Eastern Orthodox, no Oriental Orthodox believes that. So that's what, you know, 2.8 billion Christians that don't believe this. Not even, not even the Mormons or Jehovah's Witness would believe that. Not even the Pentecostal holiness or Pentecostal oneness would believe that. I, I can't think of a single denomination, not even the Moonies or anything, would believe this whatsoever. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity who is you know, proceeds from a father who with the father and the son together is worshiped and glorified. But no, the Trinity is not three parts of one God. Three parts of one God, is it not? Absolutely not. There's no, uh, I would challenge you to find a single, not even a single denomination, a single, a single parish, a single standalone church that would agree to that. All right, peace to you. Thank you for your questions. Um, Again, all questions are welcome. Have a nice day.